Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video guys. In this video, I'll be talking about the various data types which are available in Scala. Let's get started. So in Scala, every value has a type and each type is a part of the type hierarchy. I'll be talking about the type hierarchy next slide. In a type hierarchy, the more generic types are at very top and you, when you go lower in the hierarchy, the types gets more specific. What it means, let's first see the hierarchy. At the top of the uh, and of the type hierarchy, we have a type any. It's a super type and defines certain universal methods such as equals, hash code, and to string. Let's have a look at the type hierarchy. You can see this is a type hierarchy. At very top, we have a any. Then we have a any value, any reference, and any value we have we have our nine uh, different types available: double, float, uh, and so on. In the any reference, we have a list, iterable, sequence, string, and so on, right? This is the type hierarchy that we talked about in the first two slides. So uh, any has a two subclasses, which we have seen in the hierarchy as well, uh, namely any well and any ref. Any well represents the value types, and there are nine value types supported in Scala that we use in a Scala quite often. What are those nine? Which are double, float, long, integer, short, byte, char unit boolean out of which uh, most of the like types are very common very generic in all the and you will find in all the programming languages some of them are little little unique little uh, specific to the scala any ref represents the reference types any type that is not a value type is a reference type it means any type which is not falling in the nine these nine types it's called as a reference type including the types defined by users not predefined in scala Let's first take an example. What's the difference between the any value, any type, and any reference? What's the difference between the value type and a reference type? Let uh, we have taken one example here. Imagine we have a piece of paper, right? And we want the paper to hold some information such as the name, right? We can write the name on the piece of paper. Therefore, the value of the paper is the same as information it provides. This is the example of value type, right? It means whatever the value of the paper is it's same as the information it provides it means my name now let's take example of reference type uh, now imagine you want the paper to hold your house which is not possible physically right so what we can do we can write the address to the house hence the value of the paper is a reference to the required information in a previous example the value of the paper was the same as the information it provides which is the name but this time around because we cannot uh, like uh, uh, hold the house in a paper but we what we can do we can write the address to the house hence the value of the paper is a reference to the required information if anyone wants to reach to the house first of all uh, that uh, the person required the address which is there in the reference type this is a difference in the same way a reference type holds the memory address location of the value while the value types hold the value themselves this is a difference between value type and a reference type right Let's see the uh, in the at the end of this video. Let's see the different value types. This is how we can use. First of all, we have used VAL. We already have talked about this in the previous two videos that it is a, a immutable thing. Then we have the variable name my double variable colon. Then we have our data type uh, data type which is double equal to 2.75. In the same way, we have used the other eight. You can see float, long, integer, short, byte, char. Then we have a unit. This might be a little uh, unique to the this uh, this language. Unit meaning is it is it is analogous to the other programming languages void method, right? Which like suppose we have a void in a Java which return nothing. So unit is means nothing, right? Then we have a boolean. This is how we can make use of data types in Scala. I hope you must have understood from this short little video in which I have explained about the uh, type hierarchy and we talked about value types, reference type, their example, and this is how we can use it in a Scala. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.